Hello, I am Jonas and welcome to this micro learning video from vhgos.com and today I'm going to talk about why inferring block RAM can sometimes produce several RAM primitives after synthesis, even though it comes from the same VHDL module describing a single RAM. So here is some example code in Vivado. It's a true dual port implementation, a true dual port block RAM that we can configure the width and depth of through these generic constants. And I've set the width to 64 and the depth to 1024. And I've synthesized this already. I'm going to open the usage utilization. And here we can see it used two block RAM tiles, two RAM B36E1 primitives, even though we described just a single RAM in our VHDL code. So why is that? The answer is that it's because there are no block RAM primitives on the FPGA that can have this configuration that are wide enough to accommodate 64 bits. So the synthesis tool had to use two RAMs in parallel. If we look at the memory resource usage guide for the FPGA that I'm using, which is the Spartan 7 series FPGA, we can see that the RAM B36 primitive can have these configurations if you want to have it in a single RAM. It can have a depth of 32 kilobits, but then it can only have a port data width of one, so a single bit RAM, or it can have a 36 bit width, but then it can have only the depth of 1024, but there's no 64 bit mode here. So what Vivado did was to combine two block RAMs to generate the larger logical RAM that I described with my VHDL code. Now if we lower the width to 36 now, in the code here, lower it to 36, save it now and resynthesize. And there the synthesis finished. I'm going to open the report utilization here. And now we can see it used only a single RAM because the RAM that we described in the VHDL code now fits perfectly into this configuration. If we increase, for example, the depth beyond 1024, let's do that. I'm going to increase the depth here from 1024 to 1025, like this, and then resynthesize. Okay, there the synthesis completed. I'm going to close the old design and reopen the report utilization. Now we can see we are back to two RAMs because the RAM that we described in our VHDL code has one in depth more than it's possible to implement in a single RAM. So it had to use two cascaded block RAMs to implement the 36 times 1025 depth RAM that we described in our VHL code. And you can view, of course, all of this in the schematics editor in Vivado. You can see how Vivado has connected together these RAMs. And I'll leave that as an exercise for you later. And that is why inferred block RAM sometimes appear to consume more memory resources than you think you described in your VHDL code, because the physical primitives have limited capabilities. And it's important that you consult the memory resource guide for the target FPGA that you are using, so that you know the limitations of the physical primitives on the FPGA. Otherwise, the synthesis tool will be forced to combine block RAM primitives to accommodate your logic. I hope you enjoyed this micro learning video and you can find more tutorials and blog posts on vsjelvis.com.